We've been driving around, singing songs way too loud because we wanna. Picking up our love friends, fill up the car to live best because we wanna. We wanna. Yeah, we just wanna have fun. The trunk's full of wine. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to my studio. I hope you're having a good time. So, this is the engine of our Monday night locomotive. So, welcome. So after me will be acrylic painting with Julie E, pouring together with Lance Travis, K and K Create, and then our caboose, Angie Mason Fluid Art. So you can look down in my description box for the links to those channels and who's pouring tonight in the train. So tonight we're going to work on, I think it's going to start as a straight pour, but maybe end as a ring pour. Um, but we're going to have some fun. I'm very happy. I have Bordeaux Red. I loved it. So I had to do a painting with the Bordeaux Red. So let's go down to the canvas and have some fun. Hold on. Okay, today we are working on an Artist Loft Level 3, 20 by 20 inch canvas. You will notice that I have painted my outside edges in Bordeaux Red. And I have my jug all ready to go. So let's go through the colors for tonight. Now, first, all of my paints are mixed with mixed pour. If you want some mixed pour, contact Krista at Krista8974 at gmail.com and she will get you some mix. Love what this does in my pours. All right, so our colors. Let's start with this first one is Amsterdam in the permanent red violet light. So that is a beautiful tone that we're going to be working with. Next, of course, is our Arteza Bordeaux Red. I absolutely love this color. That is a gorgeous color. And while I was ordering from Arteza, I thought I'd try out this. This is Arteza Aztec Gold. So instead of using my DecoArt 24K, trying something new, we're going to try out this uh, Arteza Aztec Gold. It looks pretty, so we'll see. Then I've got the Amsterdam Permanent Blue Violet. This is a beautiful dark violet tone. My next one is a mixture of the Amsterdam Titanium White with a little of my DecoArt Satin Enamels in Pure White. So that is my white. And that Satin Enamels is in there to help us get some nice effects. Next, I've got Grumbacher Academy Acrylics in Prussian Blue. So that is a nice, deep, dark blue. And our final color is Amsterdam in the turquoise green. And that's going to add some more brightness. So I've got some really dark colors. I've got some pretty bright colors. It's just going to be gorgeous. So we're going to stack up our cup. Now for our 20 by 20, we need about a little over 14 ounces of paint. This is a 20 ounce jug, so we are definitely not going to fill it. Let me just put these cups sort of in the order. I want to sort of keep the pink and white away from the red. So we're sort of going to what's around here and decide the order. So put that in first. Put that. always hard to decide the order. Okay, I think I have an order I like. All right. So we're going to start with a little bit of white because this is what's going to come out last. So I want a little white, a little gold, and then I'm also going to put some of that beautiful turquoise green. So that'll be near the center of my floor.
All right, that is a pretty cup. I'm gonna set that to the side for a minute. I'm gonna put a little gold right here in the center. Just to pour into. Give us some salads, hopefully, and some effects. I'll just stretch that up a bit. start with a straight pour and then switch to a ring pour about halfway through the cup. Very poor dismount there. Let me get my specs. I'm gonna have to do a little repair work here. Be a little patient. Let it sit a minute. Let some more of those bubbles come up. May do a wee bit of tilting and torch it again. All right, so I need to put an extender here. So I think I'm going to start with. What do I have not I'm going to start with a board over. We're going to start in slow circular motions to sort of stretch things out a bit. Don't want to rush it. Just sort of let it get some movement. See what's there. Get things flowing.
That's pretty cool. And I'm just gonna put some of these sides. Okay guys, as I was cleaning up the edges and looking at it, I'm really not that happy. It's nice, it's got some lines, but I'm not happy. So I've made a new jug. It's pretty, but it just doesn't, it's not doing it for me. So I'm gonna pour again. Right in the middle, just gonna wipe that out. We're gonna try it again. Um, I'm gonna do more straight pour, less ring pour this time. We'll see if I like it better. I think I'm also going to wreck it. So I'm not really worried about the horrible dismount because I'm going to wreck it this time. I should have wrecked it last time and I didn't. We're going to wreck it this time. One thing I did is before I had the Bordeaux red and the red violet next to each other, I changed that. I put a little more gold between some things. And I think I'm going to be much happier with this. Again, we're going to let this percolate a minute. Again, I have a gazillion bubbles. So I just wanted to sit for a minute and let some of those bubbles come up before we stretch.
stretch out this upper corner here because I'm loving what this is looking. But it may take it a while to get down the other way. This is moving a lot slower. Okay, let's take a look at this. Oh yeah, okay. See, now I'm happy. Now I'm much happier. That's got much better movement and design and composition. It's got more, more zing to it. Oh, so much happier. I'm cleaning up my hands because if I point at something right now, I'm going to drip goo onto my paint. This up here is making me so happy. That Bordeaux red playing with that Prussian blue. And then down here, you've got a lot of that turquoise green playing with the white. And these little lines in here where you've got sort of the red and the pink and the blue all playing. Oh, I'm liking that. Okay. I'm going to clean up. I'm going to bring you down. Hang in there. I'm not going to pour it a third time. Okay, we are ready for the flyover wet results. I love this section up here. That Bordeaux red and Prussian blue really showing up pretty. I'm so happy I report this because this is so much better. This center is so fun. I love how some of it is very bright and light and some of it's very dark. These little fingerlings. Oh, so much better. Okay, we're gonna hang in there for the dry results. Okay, guys, we have the mainly dry results. Three and a half days and counting and still wet. But I am very happy with the way it's drying. The center section is all still damp to the touch, so. But the lines are beautiful. The color is holding well. Um, this center section here is still damp, as you can see. But where it is dry is beautiful. And I doubt it's going to change much, other than maybe a little darkening in some places. But so happy with these results. So glad I poured that second cup. All right, thank you very much for being here. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Leave me a comment. Subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you get the notifications. Next in line tonight is acrylic painting with Julie E. So I hope to see you there. Have a wonderful day.